हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू के डी क्रिएटिव टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फूड इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट वॉट वी ईट इट्स अबाउट वॉट मेक्स अप अवर मील एंड हाउ दिस कॉम्पोनेंट प्ले अ क्रुशियल रोल इन अवर हेल्थ To understand this better, let's start by looking at a typical meal. A meal could consist of chapati, dal, curry. Another may be rice, sambar, idli, or fish curry, chicken, etc. A balanced meal consists of different food items, each contributing essential components to our diet. but what are these components and what do different food items contain let's see we know that each dish is usually made up of one or more ingredients which we get from plants and animals these ingredients contain some components that are needed by our body to stay strong and these components are called as nutrients The major nutrients in our food are named as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals and even water. This chart shows all the components of food and their subtypes. What do various nutrients do for our body? Let's see one by one. Our first component is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are like the fuel for our body, providing energy for all our daily activities. These are one of the primary sources of energy for our bodies. Carbohydrates come in two main forms: simple carbohydrates that means sugars These are easily digested and include sugars like glucose found in fruits, fructose found in fruits and honey, and galactose found in milk. Second form is complex carbohydrates. That's mean starches. These takes longer to digest and are found in foods like rice, bread, pasta, etc. They provide sustained energy. But how do they work inside our bodies? When we eat carbohydrates, our bodies break them down into a glucose, a type of sugar. This glucose is used as an energy and any excess is stored for later use. Now, let's talk about the second component, proteins. Proteins are the builders and repairers of our body. They are like the construction workers of our cells. There are two main sources of proteins: animal proteins and plant proteins. Animal proteins are come from sources like meat, fish, eggs, and dairy products. Next is plant proteins. These are found in foods like beans, nuts, seeds and tofu. But how do they work inside our bodies? Well, proteins helps to repair damaged tissues, grow muscles and even produce essential molecules like enzymes and antibodies. Now let's explore the third component of food fats fats also gives us energy in fact fats gives much more energy as compared to the same amount of carbohydrates they come in different types first one saturated fats typically found in animal products like butter cheese as well as some plants oil like coconut oil etc next type is unsaturated fats this includes monosaturated fats like olive oil and polyunsaturated fats like fish oil 
which are considered healthier options but how do they work in our bodies when we eat fats our body store them for when we need extra energy they also help in absorbing fat soluble vitamins moving on to our fourth component vitamins and minerals these tiny superheroes may be needed in small amounts but they play a big role in keeping us healthy they are essential for various bodily functions first one fat soluble vitamins vitamins k e d and a are stored in body's fat tissues vitamin c and the b complex vitamins are not stored in the body and need to be regularly replenished through the diet important minerals like calcium iron and potassium are vital for overall health but how do they work inside our bodies vitamins and minerals are like the body's defenders they boost our immune system help in blood clotting and maintain healthy bones Finally let's not forget the fifth component water water is life it's not just a component of food but it's a vital for our survival we get water from various sources including beverages and fruits but how do they work inside our bodies water is a fundamental component of food and is essential for life it plays several crucial role including maintaining body's temperature transporting nutrients and oxygen aiding in digestion and removing waste products from the body it's like our internal cleaning system so there you have it the five essential components of food carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals and water they work together like a team to keep us strong and healthy it's important to ensure that you get the right amount of each of these components in your daily diet to support your body's need thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to kd creatives for more exciting educational content